um, this is it. So that is the happy. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be addressing the comments that I received for my first Chanel unboxing video. And I wanted to discuss that today. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out first and then come back to this one. So in the last video that I made, this was my first luxury um, like unboxing. And in the comments, everyone was like saying that my bag was crooked. And yeah, <laughs> the bag seemed a little off. So this is the bag that I unboxed. This was the issue that everyone was pointing out. So when I unboxed it, this flap was, I think it was this side or that side. I can't remember. One of the sides was, I think, sorry, this side. This side was facing a little bit down. I know I've watched some videos in the past where they say like Chanel has had some quality issues. Quality is not what it used to be. But yeah, sure enough, I was um, very, very scared because when I went back to and like I started to inspect the bag and I even told my husband like hey you know everyone's saying that the bag is kind of crooked the flap is a little off and I even like went and posted it on reddit to see if like people would agree and everyone kept saying yeah it's a little off and some people were like no it's just the camera angle obviously I used it after that video and I did stuff it with you know all my items and all that so I never noticed it but you know I measured the bag and I measured it from here to here and here to there to, you know, get an idea of what, you know, people were seeing. And I'm not going to lie. There was something a little funny about it because I was like, mm, it does seem a little off. So then I hopped on and I text my essay and I was like, hey, listen, I um been receiving comments and I posted it on YouTube and I did a you know an unboxing and I just wanted to let you know that the comments were that the bag was crooked I'm starting to freak out because I didn't think that you know I would be sold this bag if it was so let me grab my phone and I'm gonna show you what her response was this is my first Chanel bag that I've ever purchased I did purchase a few things from this essay like my glasses my little mirror and and a wallet and she was the one that was helping me through all this. When I've gone into other Chanel boutiques, the essays were like, eh, eh, you know, like, you don't have a profile with this? We don't really care to help her. And I did, you know, a couple of them did give me their cards with their phone number. And I was like, hey, you know, it's me. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. And then I would follow up like a week later or two just to see, you know, if there's any shipment that came in. And then everyone responded back to me. So I walked in to this Chanel boutique and she was the one who actually like approached me and asked if I needed help and she was so lovely so sweet she I told her you know this is my first Chanel purchase I am looking to get a bag but I know this bag is really hard to find but in the meantime I'd like to purchase you know some items and she was like very helpful and she's like yeah you know I will keep you in mind and so we actually stayed in touch and she messaged me I want to say like two three weeks later and she found the wallet that I was looking for which was the card um, holder and it was in the color gold and black and so I got that from her and she's like don't worry I still got you in mind I'm still trying to find you the bag that you want obviously the one that I really really wanted was the um, Chanel like little mini with just regular flap not with the handle like the one that I have now it took a lot of back and forth and she was super patient like that's one of the things because I just was super indecisive of like do I wait? Do I wait this long? I just really want to get it back for my birthday. Long story short, she found me this bag. I didn't look at the bag when I um, picked it up because she says, it's here. I will set it aside for you. And I said, yes, I want it. Here's my card. She's like, would you like to, you know, look at it when you arrive or did you want to have me wrap it up and you can just pick it up? And I said, you know, I'm, I'm busy today. So um, we have a lot of things going on. So I'll just, just wrap it up for me and I'll pick it up. So I picked up the bag. It was all wrapped up in the box. And so I never saw the bag when I, you know, brought it home. And then so I filmed it on a like Instagram reel. I didn't use it. I like literally just put everything back and then that was it. I don't know like if it's maybe just the way I 
maybe might have put it away or didn't stuff it properly or whatnot. Her response to me telling her that the bag was, you know, getting comments that it was crooked, it's bad, I need to send it back. I was a little like sad because, you know, I didn't expect to have an issue. And I'm not saying that there is an issue because, I mean, you can see the bag, it's clearly like, I think it's just the way I must have stored it after putting it away the very first time I unboxed it. So I don't know. Maybe it is, you know, defective or something, but I'll let you be the judge. And keep in mind, it is stuff right now. So let me just kind of unstuff it and show you what it looks like. Cause I've been pretty good now when I don't use it that I am going to keep it stuffed the whole time. I'm not really sure if you can see, but, and the flop looks okay. But when I went back and I looked at the video and the comments and everything, everyone just kept saying, oh, the bag's crooked, send it back, return it. And I already had used it after filming that. So, you know, I sent her this message. So I was like, you know, the bag's crooked. People are telling me this. She responded, hi, Gabrielle. It's common for our flop bags to naturally fall to one side after wear. And when the leather starts to soften, because they're not super structured bags and the leather is very soft, the chain weight also pulls on one side or the other when wearing it crossbody. And all Chanel bags are also made by hand, so our handbags will never be completely identical to another, nor 100% perfect. You can try to pull on the other side to kind of make it more even again. Also, stuffing it with some tissue when you're not wearing it and storing it can always help. Obviously, I was like, wow, that's not the response I wanted to hear, but okay. Maybe it is my fault for not stuffing it right after the first use. And and I said, thanks. I understand it's common for bags that have been worn several times or with time. So for it to come like that from the box and it be noticeable to others, obviously it wasn't to me because at the time, the excitement that I had for the unboxing and my first bag, I didn't pay attention to the details. But that does put a damper on the experience for it being my first bag. So, you know, I was kind of like super emotional because, you know, the amount of money I spent on it, I expected it to be perfect. And, you know, obviously, yeah, they are handmade and all that. But, you know, when you're spending this kind of money, you want it to be handmade to perfection. Uh, we can, I go, and I asked her, can we exchange the bag? I know it's not an easy bag to get a hold of. She's like, I'll check to see if there's any in stock. And, and she asked, like, has it been worn already? And I said, yes, you know, I wore it once after I unboxed it. And then she says, okay, I'll have to ask our store manager. They're not here today, so I'll follow up with you tomorrow. And I said, okay, thank you. She did follow up with me the following day. She goes, hi, Gabrielle. I asked my manager if we could make an exception to the exchange of the bag for another one, but unfortunately we can't since it's already been worn. Sorry, I tried. We looked at other bags we have here and they honestly seem the same. So basically she's saying that most bags that they have in stock right now are kind of like the same where they're not structured or they're not even. I don't know. It's just... Then she says they are made by hand so they will not be 100% perfect. It's the beauty of hand craftsmanship as they are not mass made and not sewn in assembly lines. And as I said, the leather is soft and because it's not structured, the shape can slightly change during and after the construction of the bag. If you pull on the other side, it can correct itself as well as stuffing tissue in it when storing it to balance out the shape. We do want you to still have a wonderful experience, so we would like to send you a small gift that I think you would really like. I would just need your address. They're telling me that my bag, I guess, is defective and that's just the way it is going to be. I don't know. You know, I've seen other videos and people are like very, very adamant about getting their bag fixed and, and all that. And I did have an issue one time with another bag that I purchased through Prada. And Prada was like, you know, it, I believe it was like because I had one of the backpacks and the little string, the tie thing was the sewing was came was coming undone and I took it back to them and they were like, oh yeah, not a problem. Um, we'll go ahead and take care of you, we'll fix it and there's no charge. That's what I was expecting to happen with this. So they're willing to send me a, a gift and I, it took me a while to respond and I asked my husband, I'm like, what, what do I do? You know, at this point I'm already like almost crying because I'm like, they're not gonna exchange it. I can't return it. I've already worn it and 
So I'm like, I'm like, what at this point, what do I do? Um, do I just keep the bag and then just try to, you know, do what she said, just stuff it and maybe correct, maybe it'll correct itself and then just accept the gift as an, as an apology. Or is, is it an apology or are they accepting blame or are they accepting that my bag is defective and, you know, but obviously like, you know, after I did stuff it and I, I mean, there's like a slight unevenness from this side right here because this little thing kind of comes down just a little bit so I don't know if it's supposed to be like kind of like that or if it's supposed to be straight like that so I mean let me know in the comments if that's how the bag should be again this is my first Chanel bag so I don't really know anything or I can't compare it to another bag but yeah and so I responded that following day and I said hi thank you for getting back to me the experience that I'm having with my first bag is putting a big damper on this whole journey of mine. And obviously it was a birthday gift to myself and so I was super excited and happy about it at the time. And then when that happened, it was kind of like, like a punch in the gut because I spent so much money on something and it's defective. And so my husband said, just, you know, go ahead and accept the gift. And my best friend also told me the same thing. She, you know, there's no harm in it. If they're gonna offer you something free, why not take it? So, you know, I said, the gift is a nice um, gesture. I'll accept it. Thank you. And I sent her my address and all that. So I'm still waiting. I don't know what to expect. I mean, let me know in the comments, what would you do if that happened to you or if this has happened to you? And like, would you accept a gift or would you not? Would you continue fighting to get it fixed? Just let me know. What would you do if you were in my shoes? As you can see, Maybe there is something off or maybe my eyes are just deceiving me. I haven't really worn it. I've had it stuffed the whole time. So maybe stuffing it will help and all that. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Should I have continued pushing to get it, you know, maybe exchanged or maybe have it taken to, you know, the bag spa or Chanel spa and see if they can maybe like take a look at it. I I don't know. At this point, I don't know what to do. Obviously, I'm accepting the gift and we'll wait to see what that gift will be and I'll share it here and I'll give you an update on how the bag is doing. But yeah. Anyways, if you watched this video, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments what you would do and what you think I should do next. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.